Good evening and welcome to Miami, Florida. Michael Cole and Taz at ringside for an unbelievable evening of SmackDown action. Hey Cole, this Miami crowd is all fired up, baby. They can't wait for the show to start and neither can I. And I'll tell you what, when this bad boy ends, I'm going to South Beach. That makes two of us, Taz. And I know the entire SmackDown locker room feels the same way. So what are we waiting for? Nice quick counter. That was a textbook reversal. Looks like they're slowing the pace down a little bit here. That might not be such a good move in my opinion. Oh, come on. You just can't keep going non-stop. That's a good way to wear yourself out and make a critical mistake. No, but you can't give the opponent any time to recover either. you got to stay on him and wear him down. Well, what about picking your spot? If you try to execute a badly timed move just because you want to stay on offense, that can have a disastrous result. I'll tell you what, Cole. Let me talk about what it's like to be in a match like this, and you can cover what it's like to wipe your teeth. Deal? I've been locked in this hole before, and it hurts even worse than it looks. I can't even imagine the amount of pain that this hole must inflict on any superstar who winds up in it. These superstars are on top of their game, but only one of them is going to have their hand raised at the end of this one. And that's a real shame because, like you said, this has been a great match so far. Well, what do you want, Cole? You want to say that everyone wins so nobody gets their feelings hurt? I never said that. I'm just saying that in a great match like this, everyone involved deserves credit for it. These superstars, he's three seconds away from a win. One, two, three. This wow. They don't get much closer than that. Oh, the ref's got a tough job. I mean, trying to keep these superstars on the up and up, that's hard. Well, it's easier to get some superstars to play by the rules than others. And you know what, Cole? If you're going to get on your high horse again and give us another lecture about playing fair, I swear to God I'm going to throw up. Is it so wrong to ask a superstar to play by the rules, Taz? That doesn't seem to be so unreasonable to me. That's because you never competed in a match, Cole. If you did, you'd know that you got to do whatever it takes to win. And if that means bending the rules a bit, well then, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. I got to tell you, Cole, I thought I had this thing figured out. But now I got no idea how this is going to end up. Not, here's a move that'll have you singing soprano afterward. And that ring rope is even less forgiving than it looks, folks. This is not a position you want to find yourself in. Oh. That's just about the last position you want to find yourself in. No doubt. I don't care how tough you are. That hurts. Well, the name of the game is to beat your opponent down until they can't do a thing about it. And that's exactly what's happening here. What a different submission hold this is. We might see a tap out right here. It wouldn't surprise me one bit. The longer you stay in this, the more risk you have for serious injury. You know, Cole, I'd ask you who you were pulling for in this match, but I think it's pretty obvious since the beginning who you're rooting for. I never claim to be completely objective, Taz. It's no secret I respect superstars who stick within the rules and show some sportsmanship in the ring. you got to understand, there's the submission holes. I've seen a lot of superstars tap out for this one, Cole. You and me both, partner, and we might be about to see another one right here. Oh, no, the referee is down. What's going to happen now? Anything and everything, Cole. No referees, no rules. Like a real jerk when oh god, the ref's on dream tree cold. Anything goes now. Unfortunately, you're right, Taz. There's no one to enforce the rules until the ref revives. This has been a great match so far, and I think it's pretty obvious which way it's going. Oh, really? Are you willing to go out on a limb and actually make a guess then? There's no guesswork involved, Cole. But if you're going to be snippy, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> well, if I knew it was that easy, I would have said that years ago. Three. I love hearing the crowd come alive, 
even when I don't exactly agree with what they're saying. Me too. And I do agree with what they're saying, Taz. <laughs> Man, even if you end up winning a match like this, you're going to be feeling it for the next week. Yes, but that's the case if you lose as well. And having to deal with emotional as well as physical pain is that much worse. There's nowhere to go once you're back into that turnbuckle. Yeah, not when your opponent's dishing out the punches like this. He's going for the cover, Cole. One, two. I'll tell you. All the WWE superstars are legit tough guys, but these superstars are really raising the bar here tonight. They sure are, Taz. We're seeing some great intensity here tonight. And that's the name of the game, Cole, intensity. You gotta stay on your opponent until one of you can't go anymore. I think these superstars are well aware of that, Taz. I think that's exactly what they've got in mind. These superstars give everything they got in a match like this. But a lot of people don't realize what they sacrifice behind the scenes also. No question. If you want to make it in the WWE, you've got to sacrifice just about everything for your career. It has to be as important to you as anything else in your life. Cole, what you got to realize, to make it in the WWE, this is not a job. This is a lifestyle. That's why you see so much passion for what they do in the ring. And that's something you won't see anywhere else. With all due respect to every entertainer out there, no one gives as much of themselves Here's your 